We know that the clouds are formed after the condensation of water vapor around salt and dust particles. But still, there may not be a rainfall unless the air is supersaturated. Thus, the process of condensation begins only when the humidity is 100% and further cools down. But condensation occurs around a larger nuclei and the droplets are formed. Such droplets are called cloud droplets. The aggregation of large number of cloud droplets forms clouds and these cloud droplets are so microscopic in size that they remain suspended in the air. Rainfall doesn't occur unless these droplets become so large and heavy so that the air becomes unable to hold them. Not just rainfall, there are other forms of precipitation as well. Discussing on the different forms of precipitation, the first one is the glaze. Water droplet comes in contact with the ground, which have a temperature near 0 degrees Celsius or less. And these water droplets freezes, forming ice coating on the ground surface, and these are called glaze. The next is sleet. Actually, sleet refers to a mixture of snow and rain, but in Western terminologies, Sleet means falling of small pellets of transparent of translucent ice having a diameter of 5 mm or less. Next is snowfall. Ice crystals combines to form flakes which reaches the earth's surface as snowfall. This snowfall occurs when the freezing level is so close to the ground surface that is less than 300 meter from the surface and as such these ice crystals have no chance of getting melted before reaching the ground and this will appear as snow. Next is hail. Hail consists of large pellets or spears of ice having a diameter greater than 8 mm. These are often considered destructive and rare form of solid precipitation because they destroy agricultural crops and claim human and animal lives. This generally occur when the vertical current of the wind are very strong. The falling speed usually ranges between 20 to 50 meter per second. Rainfall is the most common form of precipitation. These are the droplets of size greater than 0.5 mm and generally not greater than 6 mm. And in case if it is greater than 6 mm, it will break into small size. Based on the values of the rainfall intensities, it is further classified into light rain, moderate rain and heavy rain.